UNIA resolutions are, uh, are relevant in, in the line of work that, uh, that I have in the sense that uh, we deal with um, human capacities and, uh, and, and the ecosystems that they are in. For example, in the, in the coast we are involved in, uh, in the seas, um, integrated coastal resource management and in the lake also sustainable fisheries. And here in Nairobi we're involved in, uh, in solid waste management and also training uh, youth in, uh, in the renewable, uh, renewable energy technologies. Uh, the resolutions that I, I can see, I have three resolutions that are most relevant to my work. One is the, um, the human capacity that talks about uh, the enhancement of human capacities on uh, issues of, of, of uh, enhancing uh, knowledge, skills and, and towards um, environmental uh, sustainability. And also we have the oceans and seas resolutions which um, deals with most of our work it deals with governance in, in issues of boundaries and issues of um, multi-stakeholder use in, of the seas and in the lakes. And also in the, the plastics. The plastics we also need, to, especially in urban areas here in Nairobi, we deal with peoples in the slums and uh, we see um, challenges in, on um, solid waste management. So we, we also deal with this one. In this regard, UNEP can, can help us with um, policies and pushing for policies and also pushing for technologies and even the knowledge and researches that are needed uh, here in, in East Africa. Um, we, 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 uh, we noted that there are, there are gaps within, within the policies, especially in governance and how to manage the environment, how to manage ecosystems and how how to manage um, uh, these uh, multi-boundaries and the stakeholders that, that needs to be, to be, to be um, synergized together. So these are the, the levels that we need help with.